In this video, we'll review the process for installing WriteScan on a handheld device. We'll start with talking about an application called MyMobler, then we'll show how to determine what operating system is installed on your handheld, then we'll install the appropriate version of WriteScan, and lastly, we'll install a system resource file on the handheld. MyMobler is a Windows application that allows you to view a handheld device's screen on your PC. It also allows you to interact with the handheld device using your PC's mouse and keyboard, which is very useful for software installations and device troubleshooting. MyMobler can be downloaded from mymobler.com slash windowsmobile.html. MyMobler is compatible with handheld devices running Windows Mobile 5, 6, or 6.5. After downloading, run the MyMobler installer and follow the prompts to complete the installation. For more information or support on the MyMobler application, please refer to the MyMobler website. Before attempting to run the MyMobler application, be sure that your handheld device is docked and connected to your computer. To open MyMobler, click the small triangle in the Windows taskbar near the clock. If the MyMobler icon is grayed out, click Connect. You should get a message telling you that MyMobler connected. Now click the small triangle again. Click My Mobler and choose Open Mobler. You should now see the handheld screen in the My Mobler app. The procedure for determining the operating system version will vary depending on the operating system you're running, but in general, the operating system version can be found by clicking Settings, then System and then About. We can see here that we're running Windows Embedded 6.5, also known as Windows Mobile 6.5. For more information, please refer to the article entitled Check Version of Windows Mobile Device on the WriteSoft Support Portal at writesoft.freshdesk.com. Okay, now that we know the version of our operating system, we can begin the WriteScan installation process. To begin, we will run the cdstart.exe application from the installation media. At the splash screen, we can select the operating system we're running on our handheld. As you can see here, there are two installation options available. Manual install cab file, which is used to manually copy the install file to the handheld's onboard storage, and then perform the installation from the handheld device. The second option is Active Sync, which is a more automated process for devices that are connected using Active Sync. We'll review both procedures here, starting with Active Sync. For installation using Active Sync, simply follow the prompts on the PC. The installer will notify you when action is required on the handheld device. Follow the prompts on the handheld device to complete the installation. Finally, complete the prompts back at the PC and you're done. For installation using the manual install file option, click the manual install option for the correct operating system and a new window will open directing you to the appropriate cab file. Copy the cab file, then navigate to the handhelds file system and paste the cab file into the root directory. Next, we'll switch to MyMobler and install the CAB file using the File Explorer app on the handheld. Be sure to select My Device from the drop-down at the top, then scroll down to find the CAB file that we just copied over. Click the CAB file and follow the prompts. You may receive this message informing you that a previous version of WriteScan will be uninstalled. Please click OK. Next, you will be prompted to choose an install location. Ensure that Device is selected and click Install. 
When installation is complete, you will receive a message that the CAB file was successfully installed. Click OK and you're finished. The resource file is optional, but we highly recommend that you install it on all handheld devices. The resource file will allow the handheld to display more descriptive error messages. Without it, the handheld will only be able to display a generic message as shown here and is not very useful for troubleshooting. Please review this slide to determine the proper file to install for your operating system. This information can also be found in the README file in the Diagnostics directory of the installation media. We'll start by copying the correct CAB file for our operating system, then we'll navigate to the Handhelds file system and paste the CAB file into the root directory. Next, we'll switch to MyMobler and install the CAB file using the File Explorer app on the handheld. Be sure to select My Device from the drop-down at the top, then scroll down to find the CAB file that was previously copied over. Click the CAB file and you will be prompted to choose an install location. Ensure that device is selected and click Install. When installation is complete, you will receive a message that the CAB file was successfully installed. Click OK and you're finished.